Hi, what's up guys? This is basically just a tutorial on the game called Pirate Lineage 2, which just got renamed to Pirate Woken, actually, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to be going through all the things that the game doesn't really tell you, and I'm going to try to go through this as fast as possible, because I know this gets really boring fast. So, HP is obviously your health, AP is your stamina, SP is your food bar, see? As I eat, it goes up. Top left, this is your storage. You can open up up, and when you first spawn in, you should spawn in with a regular cutlass. But unlike me, I have an enchanted one, an axe, and a pickaxe. What you want to do, you should press equip, and when you want to go back, you can click on return. You should have your cutlass in hand. That's the first thing you should get to. Next, check if your lies bar is 100%. You get four lies in total. And this is your money. Up here is your bounty. So basically, bounty scales with your race. For example, human gets more inventory space and gets more stamina for the most more bounty they have. And other races are a little different. I'll link the Trello in the description below. So th there are a few islands in this game actually. So there is here. Here, here, and here. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, meta, I just died and I lost everything. That's what this guy's for. You can press E on him, and then you can click on storage, and you can throw in anything you want in there. I can throw in a few oranges. I can throw in my rings. I can throw in my green rings, which actually heal you. And basically anything I want. Even if, I, if this depletes to zero, I can still access this and get anything I want out of it. Now you might be thinking, Meta, Meta, I, I died, I lost some percentage. It's fine. You can come over here to one of these anvils, every island should have one, and you can make something called a Bepis. You need these requirements. 6 oranges, 10 apples, 3 bananas, and 5 salt fragments, and then 3 salt. You can get salt from mining ores, like over there, those little rocks, and you can get fruits from trees, like there. And the way you get soul fragments is killing other people. So I'm just gonna show you how to uh, get from island to island now. So from here, this guy over here, you can buy a blueprint. I recommend getting the collier. And then over this guy, if you press R, you can actually build it. So I only have a raft one uh, blueprint right now. But when you get the materials to create the collier, I definitely recommend you get it. So right now I'm gonna spawn in my battleship. I don't expect you to have it. Oh, and also, the wood that you make your ship out of is the color I, your ship's gonna be. So I made mine out of blood oak. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to get from island to island. So we're at Grand Arch Archipelago right now, and we're gonna go to Alabasta. So over there is actually windmill, and one of those places high up there is where you get boost though. Just keep that in mind. Alright, so I'm starting to see Alabasta a little. So here we are. We kind of just go a little diagonally from that exit over there and we should reach Alabasta. Alright, we have arrived. So make sure to despawn your bot out through this guy and click this button right here. Because if you leave the game while that's out, it's gonna combat log and next time you spawn it in, it's gonna have no HP. So this is Alabasta. Little chests can spawn here, and there's ores here as well. There's also a castle over here which you get trinkets. The best trinket you can get is probably rings. So I recommend you start collecting as much rings as possible. And here is the marine guy. If you really want to become a marine, you can. But I believe it is harder progression. Ah, what a coincidence. Fun a chest. It's just an ordinary chest though. It shouldn't have too much. So things like gold and ruby and diamonds, like, they're not really all that good. So like, don't be too happy when you find some. Just gonna keep that in mind because when I first started this game, Thought I was rich. 
Right over here is the can trainer. And this is a capturable flag. If you stand next to it with the crew, you can uh, capture it. Alright, next I'm going to show you how to get from Alabasta to Thieves Den. I don't really expect you to go to Thieves Den all that often though. So not really much to do there. I'm just going to show you just guys. And after we're going to go to Marine Base. And there's something important you can do there as well. Over here is Thieves Den, so I'm not gonna actually go inside, but I'm just letting you know it's right here. If you want to enter, the entrance is right there. So we're gonna actually skip past it and go to a Marine Base. Just keep this as a little reminder that this we're going on the right path towards Marine Base. Over there is Fort Port. I don't really expect you to do there too much there but just keep in mind it's right next to these den all right over here is actually marine base so if you really like can't progress I'm just gonna say this right now you need 30k bounty and 50 soul fragments so if you're getting all of them from freshy kills that's 50 kills all in total so I recommend if you're not too good at PvP in this game, I recommend that you go to Marine Base and you start farming off of alts. There is an anti-boost system in this game, so you're gonna have to hop between six alternate accounts. Just become a Marine through one of the Marine guys, like an Alabasta. There's actually only two Marine guys in this game right now, and it's at Alabasta and Fort Port. You should be able to find them pretty easily. So you become a Marine, reset on your alt, bring it here, kill it. Leave, join on another alt. Just keep adding alts if the anti boost is still catching up to you because I do believe they buffed it. This might take a while, but I promise you, it's worth it. Alright, over here is actually like where you learn your Delphu powers. You gotta talk to the person up there and have a certain amount of requirements to get your Delphu powers. There's also a person with an umbrella somewhere around here, so don't talk to them. If you don't have the requirements to get Q, she will eat you. And I also don't recommend getting Q because if then you can't get soul fragments off of fresh spawns and it's just really annoying. Unless if you really want it, I don't recommend getting it. Alright, we're finally back at Grand Archipelago. So Oh wait, forgot something. There's actually something you can make here at the anvil, something called a soul bind. And basically you can it you can soul bind two things to you on your current life. So if you die, you lose your soul bind. So I recommend you only soul bind your soul fragments. You don't really need to soul bind your clothing because that's already all about automatically soul bind, as well as your rings on your hands. And some certain weapons. If it's if it's white, that means it's not soul bind, and you'll lose it on death. So I definitely recommend you soul bind your soul fragments because when you die, you'll lose all your kills. It's gonna be a shame. So there's actually a very limited amount of fruits in this game. So there's tier one fruits, which are the best. Tier two fruits, they're decent, and tier three fruits. So for tier 3 fruits, there's Macho and Logis. Never eat Logis. No matter who tells you to eat it, never eat it. It's terrible. Macho, if used right, it's 
pretty actually, it's pretty good. And for tier 2 fruits, there's Jet and Portal. I don't recommend you eat Portal because it's kind of like a support. You know, to support your crew, you kind of need a big crew to use it. So, I don't recommend eating that unless if you really want to. And then there's Jet. Jet's really, really good, but like. It's just that, like, the only thing you can do with it is kind of jet kick people into the water. But, like, it does, it does, like, a pretty good amount of damage, maybe, like, 40% without food, so on. Some, somewhere around that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And you can escape from fights pretty easily. So, I recommend, yeah, I mean, pretty good. And then there's tier 1 fruits. The best of the best. There's blood, ice, and then there's chain, the one that I have. Chains, very good for escaping. Ice, very good for infinite comboing. Blood, very good for boss raiding. I'm just gonna keep these descriptions short because you can always go to the Trello to see what you want. So I recommend, if you see something like this, it's actually called a domain. Something at least similar to this. It might be in a different color or such. Always just escape out of it. Never to be, it's never good to be in a domain. So, you can actually get tier 2 and tier 3 fruits from orange trees and apple trees, but orange trees are better. So, if you keep picking up oranges, eventually I'll get a Logis, Macho, Jet, or Portal. Uh, again, I don't really recommend you eat these fruits, and even if you do plan on eating these fruits, I recommend you get Buso and Ken first because it's gonna be a pain to run away from people when you don't when you don't have the ability to swim. All right, there we go. We got a Logus. Terrible fruit, by the way. If you do get a fruit that you don't really want, I recommend you going over here and selling it to this guy. Log. There you go. Free 200 belly. Alright, so I'm gonna show you the best way to get money. So for this method, you're gonna need like somewhere above like 6k belly. And you're gonna need a collier or battleship. I forget it works too. But I recommend using a collier or battleship. So the first thing you're going to want to do is spawn in your boat and talk to this guy. I very recommend that you get silverware from Alabasta. So you're going to want to buy as much as you can. Keep spamming it until it says in the bottom, yep, can't pay any more cargo. So you're going to get onto your boat and we're going to go to Marine Base. Try not to do this in a very high populated server because you'll most likely get attacked because People are going to think you have a lot of money on you. Alright. Catch y'all when we get to Marine Base. Alright, we finally made it to Marine Base. So, what you're going to want to do is like dock up over here. The boat keeps moving after a little while, so you're going to have to watch out. So you're gonna want to press R on this guy to sell your cargo. So we made a lot of money there, and then we're gonna want to buy gun parts as much as we can. Alright, and now we go back to Alabasta, and then we sell it. So we're back at Alabasta, and we just repeat, I guess. Go over here, sell it, and then you despawn your ship, respawn it, buy the cargo again, and once every while you're gonna want to go to the warehouse guy to store your money, or else you can lose it all if you die. Which is conveniently right here in Alabasta. So you click on storage and you put 
put all that in and that is your warehouse. Well that's the end of the video. Hope this helped out instead of you just getting shit on and then rage quitting. So if you just give this ga game a chance, you can actually get good at it. I recommend you try to get a good crew. Maybe they can help you out. And so you don't die. When you do die, make references if you can. I would explain how to get this sword, but you don't need to worry about that now. Alright. Bye bye!